Good morning, I'm Kurt Carraway and we're at our town at Comma Coffee. This morning we're going to be talking with Tom Keaton who is running for school board. Right now we're going to take a short break for a word from our sponsor. What's the role of a health care system? Is it to make you better when you're sick? To mend you when you're injured? Are you ready to live healthier? Start today at here's to your health.net, a free service of Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare. And we're back. We're talking with Tom Keaton. How are you doing this morning, Tom? Very good. Sun's out. I, I feel better already. <laughs> yeah, a little bit better than yesterday, so yes. was, we can do that. So uh, you're running for school board. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, District 1. Uh -huh. uh, Norm Scoggins retired, so mm -hmm. I figured I'd walk in there. I've, uh, I've been tutoring over at Fritch and been involved mm -hmm. with the school system quite a bit, and yeah. working capacity more than intellectual. Yeah, uh, and I think I can bring something to the board mm -hmm. that well, will be helpful. What kind of tutoring do you do? I tutor math at uh, for both third and fifth grade at mm -hmm. uh, Fritch Elementary. Third grade is all the students, mm -hmm. and uh, and mm -hmm. I get a good ones, bad ones, smart ones, not so smart. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I take over after we see their scores, and I go over things with them and make sure mm -hmm. they've got it right. Yeah. Get it reimplanted. That way, mm -hmm. the teacher can keep moving on, and then I mm -hmm. catch them up. Yeah. For the fifth grade, uh, that started about five years ago. For some reason, they asked, "Well, could you take these kids because they're way ahead of the class?" Mm -hmm. And of course, when you're way ahead, you get bored. You do things you don't want to do. Right. And so I started out in the hallway. Now I have a little room all my own, sort of. And I have about nine students that are the best in the school. And hmm. We do beyond the book, and I make up problems for them. Wow, and, you know, right. Figure the circumference of the Earth's orbit around the sun. And don't forget <laughs> you got to go to the center of the sun in order to figure that out. <laughs> and uh, and they like those. They, it mm -hmm. keeps them interested. Hmm. It keeps them intrigued. Hmm. And hmm. so we do that uh, with fifth graders. Mm -hmm. I'm also a judge at Carson High School for the senior projects. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing that for about five years. And I use that as my example to people who say, our kids can't read or write. Mm -hmm. So will you come over and read those senior projects? Yeah. I'll show you something that you can't do yeah. and I can't do, and they do very well. Yeah. Thank you. So. And every senior has to do one of mm -hmm. those too. So you've had kind of a kind of a ground level view of of the education in the school district. I have. Bit, so. And I've also worked on a few committees. Uh, mm -hmm. I noticed uh, your previous guest uh, about five, six years ago. I was on another committee, and we even looked around for a place to put a new technical high school. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things we did. We, yeah. we said then, we need this. Yeah. Now the question is finding the money right. and how do we do it and everything else. Yeah. But you first have to decide do you need it. Right. So. So yes, I've had. I think I've had a really broad education. Yeah. So yeah. tell people also a little bit more of your background. Where. You know. Oh gosh, where do we start? Uh, no, actually, uh, I was in the Air Force. I'm a, I'm a product of the public school system and. Uh, if any of them want to find out everything they want to know about me, they can just do the website, which yeah. is www.tomkeatonforschoolboard.com. There's more there than anybody wants to know. <laughs> they can't complain they don't know anything about me if they go on. <laughs> uh, I was in the Air Force as a B-47 pilot, and then I had a teaching fellowship when I got out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, went into the business of advertising because that paid a lot more than journalism, which is what I had studied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I know that one. <laughs> always involved with uh, uh, high technology companies for mm -hmm. the most part because I enjoyed it and because it was interesting every day. It yeah. wasn't the same thing. Yeah. And uh, that was uh, kind of brings me up to when I finally retired from Lockheed and moved here in 1997. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's kind of where we are right now, and the rest they really ought to look at the website. So, all right. Well, we're going to take a short break right now, and we'll come back right after word from our sponsor. At Carson Tahoe, each of our 1,100 professionals brings something special to this region. My compassion. My experience. My skill. My knowledge. My commitment. My expertise. My dedication. But we all share one common goal. Your health. health. Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare. Here's to your health. And we're back. We're talking okay. with Tom Keaton, uh, running for school board. Now, uh, of course, I have to ask this of every candidate for office these days is about the budget. Budget. Because budget, you know, budget issues are first and foremost in everybody's mind with things well. going on. 
Every problem is a challenge. Okay. Every challenge gives you an opportunity to answer it. Mm -hmm. Now, we've all gone through good times and bad. I was not rich all my life. I'm not even rich now. But you just have to look at it that, okay, Teddy Roosevelt once said, do what you can with what you have where you are. All right, that's mm -hmm. a good philosophy. Mm -hmm. Don't wish you had $10 billion because you're not going to get it. Yeah. Don't wish you were in Los Angeles because we're not going to be there. This is what we have. Let's do the very best we can with what's here mm -hmm. and what we can do. I always find hard times, and this is going to be hard times. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we get most of our money for the school comes from the state, and the state's mm -hmm. looking at one half the collections they've had before. Mm -hmm. Half of the state budget is education. Doesn't take a lot of math to figure that one yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, all right. So maybe we can't do everything we want to do, but this is a great time to plan and set up the things you know you're going to do for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great time to be sure we're not doing anything that is really not necessary, that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. I say the first part of our job for that is to let's prioritize the things which must be done. Mm -hmm. Every family, every business has, we must do this. That has to be, no matter right. what. Then there's, we really need to do this. And then there's always a bunch of stuff. We'd really like to do this mm -hmm. if we could. Mm -hmm. And that's, you have to start right down there and be sure that is what must be done. Come up to the next. When you get to the we like to, that's I want to do it, not I need to do it. And yeah. the I want, you have to be really sure that's what we should be doing. Yeah. And that's how you get through the bad times. Now, mm -hmm. will there be tough decisions? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard has to make most of those, Richard Stokes. Yeah. What is the school board? Mm -hmm. If you compare the school board to a business, what we are is the board of directors, and he's the chief executive officer. Yeah. We have to work through him and mm -hmm. work with him. And it's not a question of have to. I know Richard. I've met him. I've worked with him a bit. He's a wonderful man. I think he's perfect for the job. Mm -hmm. He has the perfect attitude, and I can't think of a better man to work with. And, mm -hmm. and he approaches the board as a partner. Yeah. And I think we should be his partner mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Now, is there, is there some project, some pet project or anything like that that you would like to see, you know, push forward as being a member of the For the far future, right. uh, definitely the technical high school. Whether mm -hmm. it's part of Carson High School but separated, mm -hmm. I really think it needs its own campus. Hmm. We had mm -hmm. 2,000 applications for 1,000 seats. That kind of tells you mm -hmm. where a lot of the kids want to go. Yeah. Everybody can't be a neurosurgeon. I sure wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to keep that moving along, even if it's only baby steps. Keep mm -hmm. it moving. Uh -huh. uh, and I want to keep us at the top of where we are in our achievements. We have the best graduation rate in the state. We're ahead of the national graduation rate here. Mm -hmm. We are. Sure. 11 points ahead. Yeah. We're the best in the state. We're the best in the district. Mm -hmm. We're doing really good. Let's just keep that bar going up and do a good job. All right. Well, uh, I want to thank you for coming on and talking with everybody. Happy and to. thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Our town at Common Coffee. Bye. <laughs> Capital Ford Mazda Hyundai, we're overstocked. And now our select pre-owned vehicles are priced right and ready for a new home. Our factory certified vehicles are a great buy and feature exceptional warranties. Plus, all our pre-owned vehicles are quality assured by AutoCheck, so you get peace of mind with your purchase. You deserve the best. And that's what we offer at award-winning Dig Companies Capital Ford Mazda Hyundai, just 29 miles south of Reno.